So uh, we can continue with configuration of EDX, uh, which is, uh, let's say, in the new code. Uh, ECP configuration was uh, basically very similar to ECP version 3 uh, with uh, the properties files. Uh, but in EDX, uh, there is a YAML file for configuration of uh, KML endpoints. which are providing uh, then the, the messages to uh, the respective uh, channels. So here in EDX YAML, uh, I have defined uh, some AMQP endpoints, which means that uh, uh, there are created uh, some queues for uh, receiving and uh, for receiving and sending messages. So, in case uh, I want to send out a message from EDX toolbox, I just need to put it to this queue. Uh, that's the configuration of MQB endpoints. Uh, for uh, FTP and uh, SSF channel, uh, the configuration is uh, similar and also it's similar that in both channels it's necessary to uh, follow uh, the file name convention. So uh, I have here two uh, file system uh, endpoints. Uh, the first is for uh, sending messages, which is this uh, direction in, and uh, also file directory is filled out, filled in, uh, and one uh, folder to receive messages in a file system channel. Uh, as well as for ECB, the default uh, integration channel is uh, web service and uh, in the routing rules uh, below uh, this uh, this endpoint is uh, or has called uh, ECP endpoint we will see it in in the routing rules uh, so here are defined uh, my routes. So uh, I have route AMQP1, with, uh, or which consumes uh, or filters messages uh, with message type EDX AMQP1. And uh, uh, this route starts in Toolbox Gateway, which means uh, the toolbox itself. And uh, the messages will end in endpoint EDX endpoint AMQP1 and also uh, in case of fail uh, the uh, edX status message will be sent to, to this uh, queue. Uh, similarly for uh, the second AMQP queue but uh, just with uh, different uh, message type and uh, also similarly for file system channel with uh, another message type and uh, these messages will end in uh, file system endpoint in endpoint. Uh, so many endpoint words in uh, this configuration. And uh, at the end of the file we can see the default roads and uh, for for sending it uh, for sending messages from toolbox to other parties, uh, there is a route which starts in all the endpoints and uh, ends in toolbox. In case that uh, there is, for example, not known uh, receiver, the the fail message 
will be sent to PCP endpoint. In this case, PCP endpoint means uh, web service of EDX toolbox. And the uh, default uh, route for receiving is uh, the web service. You can route by uh, message type, but also you can route by uh, other fields. Uh, okay. Uh, which is mentioned in this uh, route matching chapter. And uh, uh, let's say there is uh, already some uh, prioritized uh, list. So, uh, in case you have uh, many roles, uh, then the uh, first road which uh, matches uh, these fields uh, will be used. So, in case uh, you have uh, Road with uh, message type uh, uh, CGM, sender is uh, TSCNet, receiver is uh, CHEPS, and service is uh, CGM. It has a priority uh, before road uh, with just uh, message type. Uh, so, in case uh, that uh, the other details are provided to the message, uh, then uh, the specific, the mo most specific uh, road is used. used. Uh, so it means that you can also uh, uh, route messages uh, via sender field, or via receiver field, or via service field, and of course uh, via message type. So you can define that um, messages with type uh, CGM from sender Corizo will be sent to uh, file system channel and uh, the similar messages with message type CGM but serve sender TSCNet will be routed to AMQP channel, for example. Uh, this depends on the uh, project specific uh, requirements. Uh, so, uh, we know uh, what it's uh, configured, so we can try to set messages from uh, EDX. Uh, So I will send a new message to Lion with message type EDX and QP1. Set up some VA message ID and we will send again the test message. So uh, the message was received from the Lion and if we will check on the receiver side, uh, the queue uh, inbox MQP1. Maybe we can, for demonstration, display it in hotel. So we can see that uh, we have here both, both uh, integration queues and in queue 
uh, MQP-1, there is one message waiting for uh, its consumer. And if we uh, receive such, such message, uh, we can we can see that uh, some header information. Uh, for example, the new information is uh, the file extension, which is now provided also to uh, Kafka and to AMQP channel, and the send timestamp. So the time when the message was sent on the sender side. And we can see now that in uh, AMQP one message uh, queue, uh, there is no uh, waiting message. Uh, in the similar way, we can send message. We can send message to queue AMQP two. received uh, and we can uh, try to obtain the next message from AM2B1 queue but it should be empty so no message in AM2B1 and if we check AM2B2 we received uh, the message So then uh, we have uh, configured uh, also file system channel or file system road. So we can send the message uh, also there. The message is received as well. We received the message to the proper folder. Uh, and the last, uh, we can send the message to web service channel. So we can fill in, for example, EDXWS, uh, some message ID, and if we send it, the message is received and I open web services definition for edX. Uh, it's uh, basically in the same way because it's according to mother standard and we can receive a message from toolbox. So there is no message, business type, yes and BA message type and also we uh, confirm it's a receiving. Uh, so that's uh, to the integration channels of EDX. 